My name is Demian Goes, Demian Nauil Goes. I am half German, half Argentinian. I lived in Germany up until I started my academic career and, and then, then I moved to Argentina. And well, I study mathematics. Now I am a PhD student in mathematics and I also work in a research institute for nuclear research and that's the connection with the quantum mechanics and the quantum field and so on. And well, this is the, 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 the academic part. Um, in this, at this very morning, what, what I managed to achieve is to create a connection be between my research for my PhD and my research in, in this research institute. And so this fractional quantum mechanical approach is a combination of both. First, of, first and foremost, the Schrödinger equation is basically the equation of quantum mechanics. Uh, it means everything that's very, very little and very, very tiny is governed by such uh, phenomena which are interpreted by this equation. So basically, every, whenever you are in this small scalar, you have to re use this equation. And uh, it's in, in this small scale, what you have is that you can't determine everything deterministically, just like in the normal scale world. You, can, you have to work with probabilities. And the solutions to this equation, to the Schrödinger equation, is, gives you information about the probabilities of things to happen. There are different ways to construct the equation. And in particular, there is one way, considering what are called the energy and momentum operators. So you, you define how you, how you first define these operators and then you combine them and you get the Schrodinger equation. And what I did is I generalized the concept of these two operators to a more general one in which the classical case is considered also. For a, a particular case of my um, operators is the classical case. And so I derived a slightly different version and the, the main idea was to see, well, what are the consequences of this small change? Is it useful? Is it not useful? Ah, there may be physical inconsistencies. If they are, they, there is not, not not a good model to, to use. And you you can say, well, I won't do anything with it because it's not useful. And well, at the very beginning, it was very hard because things didn't work. <laughs> then, then nothing made sense. It was a catastrophe. <laughs> but rearranging things, uh, thinking uh, through some things that might have been not that it physically realistic, well, and uh, interpreting some other strange behavior by introducing new variables, it started be be uh, making sense. And well, the, um, I would say it's just a more general case, but it still uh, respects the general laws of quantum mechanics. The, I, I started my PhD working with fractional derivatives. That's what I always also use in the Schrödinger equation, and there are many applications to it, a lot of. But I did not have the the, no, the knowledge to 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 understand exactly how it's used because I'm a pure mathematician, and so I I didn't know. And then. Um, First, I got a scholarship to go to a very important research uh, institute in Argentina. I was there, I worked in a research reactor and it, back uh, in my hometown people uh, get to know this uh, and, and, and the, guys, <laughs> the guys from the, re from the research institute said, well, this guy knows something about us, well, maybe he can join us. And so, I, I, now I'm there. Well, I wouldn't say there's a special moment. I really enjoy everything of my career at every day, at every night, and in this sense, I, it's not like oh, I'm I'm suffering the whole week, and just when I prove something that's very great, then I'm happy. But there are, I would say, everybody has milestones where where you rem go back to that and remember, oh, that that was a re really good moment. Uh, in my case. Um, 
yeah, two years ago I, I attended the two really very interesting conferences. One uh, about e differential equations, which was my area, and this was very amazing because usually I'm the only one in a conference who does my work, and I'm just like Nile there, and hello, somebody, please give, please give me a rotation. And well, now the, in this occasion, there was, I didn't know where to go. There was so much, so many opportunities, and so many different aspects of in this case differential equation and the other one was in Edinburgh and I loved Edinburgh and and the way they organized the, the, the conference just like very very nice to meet people from different cultures different uh, origins and that was very great